Hello, it's a whereby. New haircut, you know, a beautiful day outside, you know, make you feel better. So what do we have today? We have a beautiful laptop, yeah? So this is an Asus. Check here, i5, 10 gen, proper nice one. And this laptop uh, came from a local repair shop. And the local repair shop got the laptop from a school. This is a local school, okay? So, uh, yeah, we have to fix this. The problem with this laptop came with no backlight, yeah? No backlight. And if we are powering up the laptop, I mean, I believe it's on. You can see, I don't know if you can spot here, like a square, yeah? It's like a logging window. You can see here? Yeah. No backlight. You can see it's taking current. It's all fine, but no backlight. Mm? Can we fix this quickly? Mm? Now, this fold, yeah, is related with three signals, okay? The main power L, which can be 19 or can be voltage battery. Depends if the charger is plugged in or not. Then you have the LED on. Yeah, it's a signal, like 3.3 volt signal. When it's on, uh, the chip, the, the, the inverter chip get enabled. Uh, then you have the dim signal. Dim signal, it's a PWM uh, signal. But basically, yeah, you remember we modified the backlight. So you can, if that signal is missing, you can just, you know, short it to 3.3 and you have full brightness. Now we can try to adjust the brightness. But it's not the case. I mean, we can uh, press the yeah, brightness on, or we can keep press FN and brightness on. It's not working. So what we are uh, looking for the fault. You can look for the fault on the screen. It can be there a problem, or on the motherboard. Yeah, on the motherboard. All what we can check is uh, the main power if is missing or not. But the easiest part on this laptop. Yeah, this this is a slim screen. You can see it. Probably the screen is stuck on the back with some tape, which, you know, sometimes bad things can happen. I mean, you think I didn't crack the screen when I tried to take them off? Yeah, I did. So uh, the best uh, way to go forward is to check first the motherboard. I mean, it's easy, just few screws and we can check if we have uh, 19 volts there, yeah? All good, let's take out the back cover. Plastic clips. You see, it's a nice board. We have a nice IT chip here. CPU. Nice. And here we have the screen connector. Let's have a look closer to the screen connector, yeah? Under the microscope. Check here. This is a screen connector, yeah? So, we have no schematic. Oh, this is a foil, actually. We have no schematic. But what you are looking for on this screen connector, oh, I can't take the sticker out. Well, that's crazy. Proper stuff. Okay. Now it's better. You are looking for pins together. Yeah. A pins together. Check here. Okay. You have plus. Here you have ground. Plus. Check here. You have a resistor. Instead of a fuse, they use a resistor, which is about the same, yeah? But yeah, when well, Sony is using a proper calibrated fuse, it's dodgy. But you know, you see? So in this case, we don't have a fuse, we have a resistor. A resistor is kind of like a fuse, but it's like a slow fuse, yeah? So instead of a fuse, you can use a resistor, but it'll be like a slow fuse. You know the resistor. The first is like smoking, burning, you know, is slower compared with the fuse. So, the idea is the plus is always on one side. And the idea is in a case of liquid damage, uh, you will have uh, current moving between the ground and plus. So basically, if here is plus, this is ground, here you'll have current moving here. Or if the water come here, you'll have current moving from here to here, but not over. You understand the point? If the ground was on the other side, you'll have all over currents on this uh, connector. Yeah, Kind of smart, right? So they put the ground here to stop any current going uh, on this side. Probably here you have 3.3 volts, yeah, because the screen, 
to display picture need 3.3 volts but our concern is this pin okay the plus the main power rail so let's check with the multimeter quickly let's see and check on the uh, you can't check on the screen because the multimeter is not on the screen yeah i forgot the multimeter sorry good so checking on the screen you can see on these pins we have 18.9 you can see on the screen so the main power rail is present now let me disconnect the battery quickly what can be what can be here and uh, I found many times like uh, can be like the connector. You just unplug the connector, plug the connector back, and it's working. But usually, so the screen connector, not this connector. So I believe we will have to pick up the screen, plugging back the connector. Remember, I disconnect the battery. Eh? Always disconnect your battery and the charger, of course. So we plug back this connector, we plug back the battery. Now let's try and power on the laptop, plug in the charger. The current is going up, you can see there. Obviously we reset the BIOS because we unplug the battery and it's not another BIOS battery here. And we still have no backlight, nothing. You can see the square thing there. And yeah, now you can see it better. Probably. Maybe not. Anyway, we have to open the screen. And that's bad. That's bad because bad things can happen when you open the screen. But we can try to do our best to remove this screen. Okay. I mean, the secret is the heat. Is the heat, yeah? Just heating up the frame and everything. The frame is broken here. So possible this has been open before? Do you think? Let's try quickly. Yeah, so the, the frame... Uh, uh, split there and also the frame look here look here you can see a crack here i don't know if you can see it check that it's a crack you can see it yeah there so very possible someone played before here yeah very possible Yeah, we have screws here so if you have this laptop uh, here you have two screws one here and one here Yeah, and the frame is coming out. Okay. But the screen seems to be stuck. I mean, you see, the screen is stuck here. Huh? Yeah, it's stuck, it's stuck on the edges. You see, it's bending, but it's stuck here. Any solution of that? You know what I've seen? I've seen on YouTube... Uh, uh, I seen on YouTube, I, I don't know, someone sent me a link on some uh, point. And I seen some people using a wire, like a rope, like a fishing uh, wire, you know. And they were going with the wire under the screen, and they were just, you know, just pulling the wire, and it was taking out very nicely the screen. I should try it, I should try it, but I'm looking for the factory, if they fit some, uh, you know, 
that things like on the on the batteries just to pull out the strings and the sticky thing is coming out but I can't see anything can be can be yeah can be so actually this screen is not stuck on the back huh we can be that lucky what do you think yeah i'm trying to get out the wi-fi antenna <laughs> You see, it's coming out. So all I what I need, I need to take out the Wi-Fi antenna, but I can't. But maybe, yeah, that's fine. That's the ground of the of the antenna. That's fine. And now we can take the screen out, right? We can't because it's fit, it's uh, under the hinge, so we have to open the hinge. And the screen connector, I mean, the screen connector is unplugged, but if you think I unplug it, check there. Huh? Or it was like that. No, I unplug it. No, I unplug it because it was picture, right? That must be my fault. Must be my fault. Yeah, let's unplug the battery just to be sure we are playing safe okay so we unplug the battery and what i will do what i will do all what i will do i will plug the connector back and see what is gonna happen yeah so the connector is plugged back now let me plug the battery the battery is plugged Pressing the power button. Eventually, we can plug the charger, right? Yeah, we can plug the charger. Just to see the current, to see if the laptop is on. It is on. Let's see. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. We disconnect the battery. And let's see if we are getting any picture. This is the moment, yeah? We're actually... Yeah, it's working. <laughs> well, the moment where actually you realize if you have a, a screen fold or actually just a connector, unplug and plug back. Yeah, and it's working great. Yeah, it's solid. Now it's solid. You see, now it's solid. I can bend it on any way possible. I can touch it. I can press it. It's fine. Just unplug plug back the screen crazy doesn't make sense i mean you don't have one pin for backlight you have like three four pins for backlight so let's say one pin getting rusty over the time but you have another three pins there yeah working great okay let me clean it a little bit and put it all back together just one second all done all back together yeah it's like new Let's test it. And we're all working fine, yeah? Perfect or not? You can't even realize, actually, this screen was open. But anyway, we can say this laptop has been fixed by a magic touch, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always. And uh, see you on the next one, yeah? Bye.